Hello everyone. In this video, we will see the idea of morphological image processing. Morphological image processing has a lot of applications in image segmentation. The idea of image segmentation is we will be interested to extract only a area of interest or object of interest from an image and we will be finding the properties of those objects in an image. As an introduction, the word morphology commonly denotes a branch of biology that deals with the form and structure of animals and plants. So we will be utilizing the concept of mathematical morphology as a tool for extracting components such as regions, boundaries, skeletons, etc. from an image or an object of interest. And we can also use morphological techniques as a pre-processing uh, stage or also as a post-processing stage in an image processing system. Morphological image processing is a really simple but it finds a lot of applications in the area of image segmentation. As a preliminary, uh, we will be formalizing the discussion with the help of set theory. So we will use set theory to formalize the operations in mathematical morphology or image mo morphological image processing. And sets in mathematical morphology represent objects in an image. So whenever I say a set you will have to understand that I am referring to an object of interest in an image so if you look at the image that I have given on the right side you can see a diamond shape white pixels on a black background so here the area of my interest is the diamond shaped object so I will be collecting all the coordinates of that white pixel to value and then I will form a set of all those coordinates and that will form the object in the context of uh, that will form a set and that is the object in the context of mathematical morphology. The set of all white pixels in a binary image is a complete morphological description of the ob object in the image. So here I have used the term binary image. I hope you will be familiar with that term. A binary image is a, an image which contains only two different intensities. Either the either it is black or it is white. So we will be using just two symbols, one for representing the white, also zero for representing the black pixels. Now in the figure we can represent the object by a set B. So I am using the uh, symbol capital B in order to represent a set. So each member of the set B is a coordinate pair Z equal to X comma Y representing a white pixel. So the set B is a set of all coordinate points uh, which has an intensity of white. Okay. So here I am discussing two different operations such as reflection and translation which will be extensively used in defining different other operations in mathematical morphology or morphological image processing. Let me talk about the first image in the slide. So I, here I have an image. So I have marked a region in a gray shade that is a region or the area of interest so I am calling that object with a set representation B okay now the first operation I am performing is defined by this particular notation or an equation so I am finding a new set B hat where B hat is defined as W where W equal to minus B for all B the element of capital B so if you have a point small B in this set represented by X comma Y then what you have to do is you have to find a new point w equal to minus b that is you are just negating every coordinates of the object b then you are finding a new point then you are finding a set of all those new points so if you convert that into image representation then you can come up with a diagram of this kind where i have given or i have negated or i have reflected every x and y in order to get minus x and minus y okay so that is how the operation of reflection happens. Then the idea of translation, the idea of translation is similar to what we have found in the geometrical operations on images, where we will be adding some number to the x and y coordinates. So the image will be shifted in the direction of x axis or y axis. Okay. So here I have given the definition of the translation. So the translated image I am representing it as B Z where bz is a collection of points c and we are finding those points c such that c is equal to b plus z so you had a point b 
Now you are adding with that B a new coordinate pair Z for all B element of capital B. Which means that if you have an X, Y in the original image, you add a number with X and you add a number with Y, then you collect the you collect the pixels in the newly generated coordinate locations. Then that group of points will be representing my new image uh, called B, Z. So if I have Z1, Z2 as two different measures, two different distances from the origin, then I will be finding the new points by, by finding x plus z1 and y plus z2 which will shift all the points in the plane by an offset of z1 along the x-axis and z2 along the y-axis. So here we will be using a convention that the z1 axis is in the vertically down direction and z2 axis in the horizontally right direction. So this is the point z, z is z1 plus z2. Then we will also have to define another term called a structuring element which is an important element in morphological image processing. So structuring element is a set or sub images used to probe an image under study for properties of interest. So if you want to extract certain properties from an image then you will have to appropriately find a structuring element for that. So what is structuring element? Structuring element is a set or a subset which is a small image so to speak. So we will be choosing different shapes. So I have given some elements or sub image of different shapes and we will be we can use these different shapes in order to generate a new image that we are looking for. So uh, these are different kind of structuring elements. You can kind of assume it to be similar to the uh, spatial filter mask that we have already seen in spatial filtering area. But in order to uh, make it in the form of a matrix representation, you will have to make these uh, structures into a square notation. You have to add extra numbers of rows and columns in order to make it as a matrix. So we will be adding uh, a box around this one and we will make appropriate allocation for the background pixels as well. So in this case also, we are making this shape inside a uh, square so that all the pixels will be included in within that square. We are actually shading the area of the structuring element with a different color and more than that and more than that every structuring element will have a center and most of the time this will be the center of gravity or the centroid or the geometric center of that particular element. So if it is not specified then you have to take it as the center of gravity of that particular structuring element and we will see the application of the structuring elements in the coming slides. So these are the most commonly used morphological operations. The first one is erosion, then dilation, then opening and closing. So we will see these operations and we will see its applications in the upcoming video.